How's it going everybody? Welcome back to another video. And today we're going to be talking about why you should consider spending a lot of money to live like a homeless person out of your truck. <laughs> <laughs> We're talking about campers and specifically my Super Pacific X1 camper. I've had it now for two to three months and uh, I've had some opportunities to use it. So I want to give you my honest feedback and review on it and um, see if that's something you should consider. So all that's coming up right now. So today there are a variety of wedge campers you could buy for your Tacoma, but I really do think that the Super Pacific X1 is probably the best one. And it's really the attention to detail and all the little features that add up to a greater whole than the sum of its parts. So let's dive into those details because you wanna know what you're paying for and that's how you should be comparing it towards other ones like the GFC, the Vagabond or anything else. So um, let's drill into that. Okay, so one of the things I want to point out here is the latches for opening the doors. These are not uh, anything crazy or special. They're just normal latches, but they are uh, tried and tested. They are super robust and uh, they each have a lock on them. And you do get two keys per lock. So that means you got three locks around uh, and therefore you've got six keys. Now, <clears throat> what I ended up doing was just putting a little bit of vinyl over it because it's just coming it just comes in like this uh you know just the aluminum uh bare aluminum if you will i like it to blend in a little bit better so i know i didn't do a great job but i thought it was just an easy way to like give it a little bit of style and when you stand back it doesn't look bad um the other thing <clears throat> is with one hand you can open that and that's pretty cool. I mean, there's a lot of times when I'm carrying things or, you know, if I got the kids with me or whatever, sometimes I've only got one hand. So to be able to just easily and quickly click the latch and have it flip up uh, is great. Now, one of the little known uh, facts about these locks is that they're actually two stage locks. And I think you can kind of see it there, um, but basically, these locks, like when you close it, it locks, but then you close it harder and it really locks. It like sucks it in just a little bit more. And that's what I mean about two stage. It's actually, it has two uh, tightnesses, if you will. And that's on purpose. So, you know, sometimes you, you want it to be fully sealed and other times maybe you want a little bit of air back there. So that's kind of cool that it has that. Another feature that I actually really like is the fact that not just that the gas struts that come with this are like just something that you can get off of eBay if you needed to replace one um, or Amazon, but it's also that they thought about putting adjustments into the actual hinge itself. And so what's cool about that is if you stand back, you can actually, you see how the door is kind of angled up a little bit. I can have it so that it's straight ahead or lower if I wanted to, just depending on how I'm building this or what my needs are or whatever. It's just cool that they thought about that in advance. Also, because the gas struts are pretty strong, you probably could use this as just a shelf um, if you're up in the tent and you wanted to like lay your cup or your, I don't know, your food out there and just kind of hang out. It would definitely hold it. Um, and as a matter of fact, if you look here, I don't know if you can see this. Yeah, I think you can see them. These holes here, these little like loops on every door. And basically what those are for is to allow you to hang things off of. So like, you know, if you're uh, camping and you, you know, have, I don't know, whatever you want to hang off that you can. And these, these doors are strong enough that they'll probably hold it up. Uh, I mean, relatively speaking, but you can see that they're designed to be used. And that's pretty cool. Now, also, these doors are actually designed uh, to be used. And when I picked up my 
uh, my build and they had had them install it, they told me straight up, take the door and slam it. <laughs> they said, these doors are designed to be slammed. So go ahead and slam them, use and abuse them. That's what they're for and they're designed for that. So I'm gonna show you uh, right now how hard I typically slam them just so you can get a sense of that. Now let's talk about the uh, downstairs here, if you will. Um, first and foremost, as you can see, I do have shelves back here. Um, so it is less room, but if you don't have those shelves there, there's quite a bit of room. And what I like too, is that the opening here is actually pretty large. I don't know if you guys remember, but I used to have a Lear XR100 shell and the opening here is actually wider and taller than my Lear was, which is awesome because you can actually fit more things in, just even from a, like think about it from a furniture perspective or anything else you got. I mean, I know the dogs really appreciate it too. So um, just something to consider. Now, one of the last things I wanna point out about just like the doors is that they have these bent gussets. And if you look, they protrude out because it's designed to keep water out. See that? So basically, um, with the door open, water, if it's raining, can run down the door, hit that, and then go up to the sides. And that is literally all around. And that way, you keep water out of the inside of your vehicle, and it actually helps with the seal, which is pretty cool too. All right, so what you're looking at now is on the inside, and specifically, the fuselage. This is not a roll cage kind of build or anything like that. This is actually like built like a plane more than anything. And the fuselage is hollow. So not only can you mount things to it, but you can run all your wiring through it. That is so cool. And, and here you can see, I do have a mole plate. Um, you can buy these from their website. They're, they fit perfectly. You can put them almost anywhere. I'm planning on using that to mount my uh, solar um, uh, controller right there. Also, you can tell I've actually added some lighting there. I think you can see it right there. Um, and I'm continuing to build it out and it's awesome. Like it, this, this basically opens up so many opportunities and it, it gets me just excited about what's possible. I mean, what a great, uh, idea. Now, from the electronic side, it actually does come with these plates here that you can customize. You can see this one here, it's blank. Uh, this one comes with it, and it gives you a, a cigarette charger, um, and it also gives you a dual uh, USB ports. I, I've got this one fan actually connected. Actually, i got two fans here, but that one's connected to my Jackery. And those fans are there for my dogs, so when they're in here, they get a little extra air. Um, I did add the voltmeter here because I did end up uh, putting in a fuse box back here so I could have power. Um, and all of that is actually powering not just the electrical here, um, but also my lighting and everything. So um, that's pretty cool. And again, you have a whole side here and you have a whole blank side here as well as the other two corners. So again the possibilities here are endless and uh i just think that's so cool so the only real option that i got on this besides the color choice was the fact that i got a window back here uh this window is an option um or an accessory if you will an add-on so just keep that in mind you don't have to have that and they don't currently have um, side windows either, vented windows or anything like that. Um, so you can cut those out though and just add windows. You can get windows off of pretty much anywhere. Um, there's companies that make them for RVs and you can just pick your style and you know bring them over, cut them and install them. Uh, so it's really not that hard. But I've actually found that, especially for my dogs, just driving with the back open is enough. Of course, you got to keep them locked down. And so what I've done for that is I just put a crossbar there and I have a long leash. And so I just clip the long leash to the dog and they're fine back there. And that that uh, rear hatch, so to speak, 
stays up, no problem, uh, even on the freeway, and they get plenty of air and they're happy. So I don't know, I might do windows, but this is seemingly working pretty good. So if you guys have any thoughts, let me know in the comments. Uh, otherwise, I'm probably gonna stick like this, but um, anyway, food for thought. Now, before we go too far into the tent uh, details, I do wanna also point out that the entire rim of this thing has T-slots built in. That is really awesome. And even these like hand hooks, uh, you can hang things off of, they're super strong. Uh, you can mount pretty much anything you want. Now, it does come with this handle here. Um, well, actually, I'm sorry, it doesn't come with that handle. It comes with that handle. I added the second handle uh, because I also wanted a handle to grab onto when I'm trying to get back onto my truck to lower that down. So that actually comes in handy. And I also, while I was at it, added these other side handles here on one on each side, which is great for like using the skit, uh, I'm sorry, the slider to stand on. And that way it can like load anything on top of my roof or, you know, whatever I need to do, I have access and it's just nice and easy and, and safe and secure. Of course, I got my uh, trusty awning and uh, it does require brackets. Um, they sell those brackets. I think they're a hundred bucks. Um, and uh, it holds my trusty awning just right. Uh, I like the the strength of it and uh, gives some adjustability. Um, again, built into the T-slots, you can almost put it anywhere you want. Um, and that's awesome. I also added these, uh, these side lights. I don't know if I'm gonna keep them there, but they're kind of cool to have, I think, especially when you're camping. Um, I think I'm gonna wire them to the inside of the tent though. So that way I can flip them on in the middle of the night if I hear stuff outside or something like that. I don't know, what do you guys think? Should I keep them or get rid of them? Now, one last point I do want to make is um, on our last camping trip, we noticed that because of our drawers um, elevating, as you can see here, um, you know, it's a foot from the bed, um, you actually need more leverage to grab the tailgate, to pull it up and close it, and then close the, this top uh, in order to seal off the, uh, the tent for the night. Um, just not a big deal, but just a little annoying. That's just one more reason I kind of think an external ladder is a good idea, um, but small thing. Okay, so let's get up there and let's see what it's like. Um, all right, so kind of cool. You do have these, um, these boards here and there's three of them, one here and then these two here. Now you can just pop these up. And now you do have access to the top of the tent. You can just get in here and stand. And here I am, I'm in the tent. All right, so uh, once you are up here, you will notice this great big uh, window, which is awesome. I mean, just imagine the places you can open that up to uh, and we'll have your breakfast up here or whatever. And you have side windows as well uh, that are netted. And of course, they've got the cover on top um, and that's on both sides. So pretty cool, all kind of standard stuff. Um, these boards though too, they're, they have these angled cuts here. So that way, as they are in place, like here, you can see that you can run your wires for like you know, your phone charger or whatever up here. Uh, use this as you know, a shelf or you know, if you're extra tall, you can move the, the um, X-PED uh, mattress that comes here um, over it. So that way you get more room. Um, and speaking of the X-PED mattress that comes with this, first off, it is air, but it's also foam. And what's so cool about this is that it's actually really comfortable. Um, and, you know, I was surprised how nice it was when I slept on it the first night, um, but it, you can leave it in here. And so I just let out usually half the air or all the air and it's fine. Um, and, uh, you know, everything collapses down and it's always there. I don't have to like remember to bring it, which thank you for that, uh, Super Pacific. <laughs> That's really good to know. Um, the other thing, you'll notice that it does have the pullback ties. This is so that when you are collapsing down the tent, the sides get sucked in on both sides at the same time. So that way it's easier to collapse the tent, uh, just like it would be to open the tent. Now you can see that there are slots here too. So you can actually run wiring if you needed to or whatever. As you can see, I do have uh, lights in here as well 
and they are simply on a dimmer that is just right there. I'm sorry, actually right there. Um, so I can have light in here when I need it at night. Um, and during the day, the roof here uh, is see-through. I mean, well, at least some light gets through, but it doesn't bake in here, which is really nice. I thought it would get warm, but it, it, it actually, is, it's just well-regulated. So that's cool. So to this point, you're probably thinking, okay, yeah, Nick, I mean, all these features are pretty common and I mean, sure, they're, maybe the execution's like pretty good, but it's just basic stuff. So what else? Well, there is one thing that I haven't seen on any other tent. I mean, maybe, the, maybe it does exist, I'm not sure, but it's these vents right here, right here, right here, and right here. Basically, <laughs> it's pretty brilliant. I'm gonna show you this, guys. These vents uh, are amazing because now we're going into summer and uh, it gets pretty damn hot uh, here in California for sure. Um, especially as you go uh, further like east, like into Arizona and stuff like that. If you're camping out like near Moab, Utah, anywhere pretty much, it's gonna be hot. I like that I have these vents. So that way at night when you have all the windows closed up, you can still have some air circulation and it's releasing the heat. So first off, you know, obviously hot air rises. And so these are at the top to release the heat out, which is pretty brilliant. Now, let me also show you how these vents work. They're not just cutouts. Check this out. So first off, Velcro, right? Fully sealed Velcro. And you probably can see that there's Velcro here at the top too. And you're wondering why that is. Well, that's because you can fold this and have it connect to that side. And as you can see, it now shows the vent and already I can feel air coming through here, but it's basically flush up against the outside canvas, but that's what these straps are for. So if you grab this and yank, watch what happens. Do you see that light? That is because what you're doing with these straps is actually bending a, a plastic bar that pushes the canvas out, opening this vent. And right now there's quite a bit of air coming through now because it is pretty windy outside. But I'm gonna show this to you from the outside. And how brilliant is that to get air coming in just like that? You can see if it even wiggling right now. So cool. All right, let me show you the outside. So you can see how that vent stays open using that bent a uh, piece of plastic and the air just goes right in. It's pretty cool. I've never seen that before. And look, you got them all sides. Pretty spectacular. That's so brilliant. Okay, so that is what it looks like from the outside. Now, how do you retract it? You just simply release the tension and it goes flat. And then you just take this and connect it back onto the Velcro as before. Uh, doing it with one hand, but not very well. And there you go. The vent is closed. Awesome, awesome, brilliant. Love it. Now, I'm pretty sure you've seen this trick before. Obviously, having standing room is important. Um, but I really like how elegant that Super Pacific made this because this piece does slide forward and basically over the piece on that side. And they did it by creating basically a curvature on the front of this and on the other side of that. So it's inversed. And that way they slide over each other really, really smoothly. And because the X-PED mattress is so um, pliable, like you just bend it and move it out of the way and then you have standing room. So check this out. Super simple to do. I am 6'2". I'm standing basically at the end of my bed and my head just touches here. Um, so this is great for like changing or hanging out or if you build like a little kitchen setup or something or uh, you know, whatever. Like you've got lots of room in here and lots of options and uh, you know, you're totally housed from the elements, which is so awesome. All right, another quick little feature to point out is this is such a well thought out thing that they knew that people would be putting on stuff like solar panels, which you can see I've done here. 
But to route the wires, as you can see on either side, they've actually got a cutout already ready for you. Now, I, I did not do a very good job of routing my, uh, my wires in there properly. Like, I get that. Um, I hope you guys can see that. But the cool thing is that it's there, right? So, like, if you are planning on running something from the outside in, you've got holes that go right into the fuselage, make it nice and neat. And yeah, I'll probably clean mine up at some point, but for now it works pretty well. Those wires actually go into my Jackery. And uh, as you can see, my Jackery there is fully charged. I think you can see it right there at 100%, thanks to that solar panel. So I always have power no matter where I go. All right, so let's summarize and conclude some stuff of this review. So the X1's a great camper, no doubt. But one of the reasons why it is, is really the build quality. Now, bear in mind, it's borrowing the techniques from the aeronautics industry by using laser cut aluminum and building a fuselage that's held together with rivets. I mean, that's a tried and true tested technique and it keeps the fuselage and the whole X1 as a whole super strong and solid and at the same time relatively light. This one clocks in at just under 300 pounds. That might sound like a lot, but considering what you're getting, it's really not bad. Another cool thing is the entire camper is built by Super Pacific and its partners and they're all based here in the USA specifically right out of Portland. And I think that's great because I love supporting small businesses, especially when they're US based. Now, if there was any doubt, all you need to do is look at the features that the X1 comes with to understand that it's really built for being customized. First off, the T slots, which are completely surrounding the entirety of the whole camper. That is so awesome because it really opens up the door to your imagination. Secondly, on the inside, you got threaded inserts pretty much everywhere. And because of that, um, I mean, you could really, you know, let your imagination run wild and think of different ways to utilize the interior space of the X1. And of course, because it's a fuselage, there's wire chases everywhere. So you could basically run all your wires through the fuselage and there's access points pretty much everywhere you look. Now, we do have to cover the price. The entry point is 9,500 bucks if you have a uh, smaller bed like I do on the Tacoma or the larger size I think comes in at about 10 grand. Now, that's not a little bit of money, of course, but when you consider how much versatility it offers and also how much fun you can have on adventures and never need to worry about having a place to sleep or you know get out of the elements or what have you i actually think it's a great deal but furthermore and this is kind of how i conclude for myself whether or not the x1 is worth it it really comes down to the innovation i mean if there's one thing that's true here is that super pacific is proving that the world of campers yeah though they're here that doesn't mean that they're done they're continuously pushing the envelope. Every time a new model comes out, it seems to top the next one. And that's exciting for us, the consumers, because it means the future is bright. The thirst for being out in nature and exploring the world around us will continue to grow even in the near term and, and long term. And that's exciting to me. So thank you to companies like Super Pacific for building such a great product and encouraging us to live life. So with that being said, I love my X1. I highly recommend it to anybody who's interested and uh, I hope you can get yours soon. Thanks for watching guys. Take care and uh, feel free to like and subscribe, comment below. I'll see you guys on the next one.